Okay, so we'll start with lesson number two, the probability. This is review only. So we'll discuss sample space and uh, relationship among events, the counting rule, useful and probability, and uh, rules of probability. So let's start. So this is uh, chapter two of the textbook, the Applied Statistics and Probability for it. Engineers, the sixth edition by Montgomery and Range. Okay, so let's start. Uh, for random experiment, these are uh, activity or experiment that when you done, you can get a different outcome every time you repeat the same activity or every uh, experiment. So this one could be a procedure under controlled condition or uh basically you don't know what will be the result of your experiment okay for the sample space so this will be the outcome or possible outcome of any random experiment and we designate uh use the laser pointer sample space as capital letter s we have two types of outcome the discrete and the continuous one for the discrete uh, outcome, this is an outcome that consists of a finite or countable infinite set of outcomes. So meaning the, the value could be an infinite uh, possible uh, outcome, but these are countable or finite. For the continuous, this contains an interval of uh, real numbers, meaning uh, there's an, an infinite uh, possible value that you can obtain from a finite or a short value of outcome. So basically, pag sinabi yung discrete, it's countable, 1, 2, 3, 4, counting numbers. While for continuous, it's a range of value. For example, from 1 to 2. So any value between 1 to 2 is a possible outcome of your sample space. So let's define an example. So randomly select a camera and record the recycle time of a flush. So the sample space S is all the positive value where X is uh, any value greater than zero. So the, uh, the positive real number, you know, sample space time. Suppose that it is known that all recycle times are between 1.5 and 5 seconds. So basically, the value is a sample space where all values of x, such as x, is between 1.5 to 5. And this value, or this sample space, is a continuous sample space. Okay, now, for example, you just categorize the recycling time as a three value, which is a low, medium, or high. So basically, we, class, we classify them, we give them a specific uh, time frame and each time frame is identified as low, medium, and high. So then the sample space is as low, medium, and high. So we have three uh, finite or uh, distinct value. And this type of sample space is a discrete sample space or data. So now Another uh, specification, we, we could have a minimum value. For example, the minimum value is 2 seconds. So, for a minimum recycle time specification. So, ang tanong, will it conform or not? So, the, the value is just yes or no. If the camera has a value uh, greater than 2, that's what we set as the minimum, then it's conformed. If below, then not. So, we just have the yes and no. And this uh, sample space is a discrete variable. Okay, let's have this one. So another example is message are classified as on time or late. So we will receive messages, for example, in a phone or in a, an email, and a list of empty. So uh, the first message, let's have here one, two, and three. So for the first message, we have two possible outcomes, the on time and the late. So this one is on time, and this is the late outcome. And uh, so basically, 
from the second message we have uh, the one coming from the on time so we have two possible outcome the on time and the late one and for this the late first message we can have the on time and the late outcome for the third message so iterate long time so there will be two outcome again on time late on time late on time late on time and late so i'll just change my marker so as you can see here we have how many uh, sample space so we have one two three four five six seven eight so the first one is this one the second one is this and so on and so forth okay i'll erase all the ink in the slide and show you the uh what sorry so the on time and late so the sample space for this uh problem is the on time all the messages are on time the last message is late the second message is late uh the second and the third are late then this one the first one is late and so on and so forth so that's a discrete type of sample state okay now uh specifically we can get a portion of your sample space and this portion of sample space what we call the event so this is a subset of a sample space of any random experiment you have different uh three uh combination of uh, sample space so the union the intersection and the complement when you say union if you have two events all the elements present in your uh two event will be included in the uh, event of the union of this event so we note that uh union is designated by e one uh, this is the union sign e two for the intersection one these are just the one present both in the event one or event two so this one is end and we denote intersection as this symbol for the complement of the event for example you have an event all the element present in the sample space but not present in the event uh for example for your e event then that will be the complement of the event and we denote the complement as e right okay so let's have this example suppose that the recycle time of two camera are recorded consider only whether or not the camera conforms to the manufacturing specification we abbreviate yes and no as y and n so this is our third example in the sample space so the sample space that we have because it's two camera we have this four outcome the yes 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 no no yes and the no no outcome suppose that we designate e1 as an event that at least one camera conforms to the specification then e1 alin ng kasama guys so at least one camera so meaning this three yung may mga yes lang yung kasama dun sa event 1. Okay, malinaw. Kasi at least 1. So, ito, may is, uh, dalawa sila. So, kasama. This 2, kasama. Ito, wala. So, it's not included in event 1. Suppose that we denote E2, an event that no camera conforms to the specification. So, wala kahit isa. So, E2 will be just your NN element. NN na element dun sa sample space and the third one the event tree denotes an event at least one camera does not conform so yung may mga no naman yung event three so if we said that e1 union e3 so e1 so take note of this and this event so my y n y n n y n y my y y saka n n so apat yung event no Union, which is your total sample space. Ready now? Ready now? Okay, then next one is the intersection of E1 and E3. So if you intersect them, so you just select yung pareho. So we have YN, YN, and NY, NY. Yung YY at saka NN hindi kasama. So basically, the, the elements for this 
uh, event is just your y n and y. So, dalawa lang yung element. And lastly, the uh, complement of your E1 is just your NN. This is uh, pertains to your uh, event E2. Susundan, class. Okay? So, we can ask questions uh, during our synchronous meeting, but we will just continue with this lecture. Okay, uh, let's have this one. So, this is a continuous event. So let's say that we have a measurement of thickness of a part are modeled with the sample space S, where S is just an element of all positive real number. Number. Let's denote that the event E1 is from 10 to 12. 10 is included, 12 is not. And E2 is an event where uh, the value of X is between 11 and 15. So we can draw a number line for this one. So let's have say, this is a number line. So ang kasama ay we have 10 here. We have 11. We have 12. And we have 15. Okay, so let's use another color for event 1. So event 1 will be 10 to 12. So kasama yung 10. So natin to, shaded to 12. Empty. That's your event 1. Let's use another color for event 2. Let's use violet. So event 2 is from 11 not included to 15 not included. Okay. Now, go back to laser point. Now, for the union of event 1 and event 2, so, event 1 and event 2, union, ano yung value? So, this will be uh, from 10 to 15. Yung lahat ng value, from 10 to 15. That's the union because you combine them. Kahit na uh, not included to at saka not included yung 12, sa event 1 at sa event 2, but because uh, 11 is included in event 1, kasama siya, and 12 is included in event 2, so kasama din siya. So the value is 10, 10 to 12. Now, for the intersection, so intersection. So for the intersection, I'll use the uh, black one. So this will be the intersection of your value. So by laser pointer. So this is just 11 and 12, between 11 and 12, but 11 and 12 are not included in the set because it's not present in both uh, events. Okay, now, for the complement of E1, so this is from 0 to 10 and greater than 12. So, yung hindi kasama. So, from 0, kasi positive to, ha, R is positive. So, we we'll start at 0. Yung 0 value hanggang 10, hindi kasama. Then, from 12, kasama na yung 12 going to all positive value of R. Now, for the intersection naman ng complement, so this value at saka ng, L, uh, ng event 2, then this value is between uh, 12, so mula dito hanggang 15 lang. 12 is included. Kasi kasama siya doon sa E1. So that's the intersection. Intilihan. Okay, now, we'll have a seat work. You can pause this one. This has two numbers, so you can pause this one. So this is the first problem. And you need to submit this seat work. So, gawin nyo yung seat work. So, we will do, uh, have this one as a uh, synchronous meeting also. But if you are doing an asynchronous activity or asynchronous way, you can answer this one on a piece of paper and take a picture and submit. Okay, you can pause. Okay, and this is the second number. Okay, so this second number, you need to submit this one. So make sure that you submit the activity. Thank you. And we will proceed to the...